World-class innovators check their speed. You know, I was back in um, New York in 2008, the day that Lehman Brothers went down, the day the stock market, you know, really went bad. And I was with the Reader's Digest Food and Entertainment Group, the publishers of Every Day with Rachel Ray. And in the room, we had Madison Avenue advertising agencies, we had food companies, we had retailers, we had packaging companies, and the focus was on innovation in the food sector. But just as the conference began, the stock market collapsed. The entire tone and focus of everybody in the room and all of the talks immediately changed. Because they knew, people knew, with an economic recovery, an economic collapse, economic downturn, people would be focused on value. You know, you know the day Lehman Brothers went down, the only stock that went up was Campbell's Soup. It's true. People would be focused on comfort food. People would be focused on saving money. People would be focused on things they weren't focused on just one day prior. So the entire focus of the conference became how do we as a food industry innovate faster? How do we get these value-oriented products to market? How do, how do we change the branding and marketing of our product so that it provides this image of comfort? And how do we do this quickly? And as one individual pointed out at the back of the room, we're not really good at innovating quickly. When the low-carb fad came out, by the time we got our low-carb products to the market, the trend had come and gone. There's one individual at the uh, conference, she's a stock photographer. Stock photography for magazines and for food products. And she said what she was going to do that weekend was she was going to head up to Pennsylvania, to Mennonite country, in order to take pictures. Because she believed that this would you know, become a part of the branding towards comfort that people would be seeking during a period of economic downturn. What I witnessed in the room that day were a whole bunch of food executives and people involved with the food industry who realized they had to act fast. You think about how quickly local and direct relationships, the 100-mile diet, and all of these trends came to the forefront. The future belongs to those who are fast. Think about how quickly the issue of the ethics of food came about. I mean, it's like literally overnight. And all of a sudden, you're having to, to think about this and, and, and make it part of your branding and, and, and messaging. You think about how quickly the life on the go trend came to the forefront. You think about how quickly, you know, we got to a situation where we're dealing with more variety and the, the, the consumer has less focus. You think about how quickly this whole mobile app world has emerged and QR codes and all the things that are influencing in-store decisions and in-store behavior. World-class innovators pick up their speed because they recognize that the industry in which they work is speeding up to a huge degree. Let's think about Greek yogurt. We all know how quickly it grew from a $30 million business to a $350 million business literally overnight. And so what is everybody saying now? What we need to do is we need to speed up our R&D. We can't be slow anymore. Consumers change so fast. New products emerge so quickly. New, new brands can you know, come in and challenge us faster than ever before. So we need to speed up our R&D. We need to speed up our team. We need to become more agile. How do we get to market quicker? We don't have the luxury of time of, of 12 to 18 months or 24 months. We've got to do now, you know, what we used to take 18 months, we've got to do in two to three months. We need to challenge ourselves to speed up the process. We need to continuously reinvent the product to keep up with the fact that the consumer has a smaller attention span than ever before. And we've got to challenge our quality methodology because we can't risk quality. How do we balance the issue of quality and, and speeding up our innovation R&D? The future belongs to those who are fast. Think how quickly trends can envelop us. You know, the market for free from foods. This food is lactose free. This food is peanut free. This food is whatever free. You know, and it's expected to grow into a $26 billion market. You know, what's, what's happening in the retail space is absolutely fascinating as well. You know, there's actually a, a convenience store chain in South Africa called Fresh Stop, Fill Up, Fresh Up. And recently, they were a typical you know, convenience store, gas station chain. Cigarettes, pop, chips. And they realized in South Africa, as it is everywhere else in the world, people are beginning to change their focus, change their food. So they got involved in very rapid format innovation. Let's bring a lot more fresh food. Let's bring in deli products. Let's bring in fr fresh meat and fish. And, and they're converting their stores at a furious pace. And they've gotten so good at it, they can now convert a store in just two weeks. Everywhere I look in the food sector, people are focused on the fact that we need to speed up. You think about what is happening, consumer behavior is, is changing faster than ever before. 
There can be sudden dramatic shifts, you know, on what they're willing to buy. And so you've got a marketing campaign, you've got a branding campaign, and suddenly the consumer is thinking in a different way, and you're thinking, well, what do I need to do to change? What world-class innovators do is they challenge, from a leadership perspective, that speed will be a core metric by which we will succeed in the future.